If you aspire to be a full-stack web developer, it is essential to understand how the web works. Let's say you want to start your own website at yoursite.com. This application will have two parts, the front end and the back end. The front end is the part that is loaded on a user's computer in their web browser. It is also known as the client. It's responsible for rendering and displaying information to the user. The back end is the part that runs on a server. It is invisible to the user and is responsible for processing, storing, and passing data to the client. So let's say a user types in yoursite.com in the browser and hits enter. This is where the life cycle of the web begins. A request is sent from the client to the server where our website is hosted. The request contains some instructions for the server. These instructions tell the server what data it wants and what data format it wants it in. In our case, it wants the index.html on the server for your site.com. The server then finds the index.html file in its file system and returns its contents to the client. The browser then receives a response from the server. It will render the data, which is the HTML in this case, sent back to it and the user will see the web page. This data exchange from the client to the server is a defined protocol called HTTP, otherwise known as Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and it is essential to understand as a full stack developer. As you begin to level up your skills, this life cycle will become more complicated. The client can pull other files, such as CSS to make your web page look nicer, images to display, or JavaScript files to make animations on the web page. The server can store data in a database and run code to pull the data into your index.html file. But that's a topic for another day.